Okay, stand by. It's 101.7 WFNX. Uh, we are here with the guys from Phoenix at Coachella 2010. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the desert. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you guys have had uh, an amazing past year. Um, what, it, what happens now? So you play Coachella, and then what, what happens next for you guys? Where are you headed? What are you doing? Uh, we play festivals, basically. Yeah, and, uh, and we tour again in the U.S., just a little in September, and then we do a new record. And yeah. Who are you? Uh, who are you going out with on your U.S. tour? Uh, does it, I think it depends every show, but right now it's the, it's uh, right you know now a, anyone that wants to come with us because the band that was supposed to yeah, it's do it is band. you know two doors <laughs> cinema. Club. I love yeah. That band. Yeah. They're stuck in, uh, in England because of the volcano. Oh, oh right. really? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you could you could open if you uh, want. I, I yeah. would do that. <laughs> I um, I'll need a guitar, and I only know like That's three okay. chords, but <laughs> I'm up for it. And Fletcher could do most of the Killers' hot fuss. Would you like him to perform that? Sure, the cover man. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Th- yeah. I, I can I can put something together. We'll we'll, we'll uh, talk after this interview. <laughs> um, so, are you exhausted from touring? I feel like we. I feel like the two of us have seen you uh, eight times in the past year. Really? Yeah. We've seen you a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we are a bit tired, but it's a uh, it's a good feeling, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's good. Did you expect to have the sort of when 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 1901 really started to take off um, in America? Uh, what did you guys say to yourself? Were you were you shocked? Did you expect this to happen? Like, what what had been the reaction within the band with the success that you had in, in last year with this record? Well, it's uh, Yes, I mean since the beginning, f- um, uh, even the next day when we gave 1901 for free on our website, the next day we were shocked. Yeah, I mean uh, we thought we spent two years in the stu- in our studio thinking that people had forgotten about us, and and which is kind of true, I think. But it's only the t- the song that made it. I mean, people get wanted that song, and uh, and then and we did SNL. Everything from then, uh, yeah, was really insane. I mean, it was really things we'd never expect to do. And SNL, they let you do three songs, which is very yeah, great. yeah, yeah. Only you two get to do three songs, and SNL, like yeah. Paul McCartney. Yeah. Actually, we played four songs. Oh, did you play after they went yeah. to credits too? Yeah. After, yeah, we played one more song. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's yeah to be it's it's very stressful to do three songs. It's not really a gift when they tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> You're just uh, you worked on two songs, and we never played. You know, the, it's the first time we played these songs. It it was on SNL, so the pressure was really. Um, we never played them live before or anything. So suddenly you're at this point where a lot of people are watching you, and you think, okay, it's either the start of something great or it's the end of, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that was what was interesting, and in that that's why the danger, you know, yeah. the disaster, you know. Uh, do you, do you have do you have um, do you have any kind of ideas or or melodies in your head for future songs? And d- are you kind of bothered by the success of 1901 almost? And, and what's happening? Because it, it's got to add pressure. N- yeah, but not really, because when we wrote this song, we really wrote uh, only for us, mm-hmm. in a very selfish. And so uh, we, yeah. So I think the more we are selfish, the more it touches people, you know. <laughs> so we, the pressure is just about uh, ourselves, you know. We have to, to, to do a better album. And I- this one was kind of hard to do, like two years of hard work. But uh, w- it's. But we never think of trying to please yeah. the most amount of people. I mean, that, that would be the worst uh, thing to do. Uh, and uh, so, in that sense, there's no pressure. No, there's no pressure of making a hit single or something. Uh, we just. Uh, it, it, the, that doesn't matter. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of want to uh, use that philosophy in life. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you don't want to please anyone? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to aim to please no one. I oh. feel like that's the way. Now, there's been a lot of talk, sort of in the in the music industry, that your sound, along with sort of Passion Pit and MGMT and, and things like that, is sort of the next wave of alternative music, much like grunge was in the early '90s and things like that. I mean that you'd be one of the forefronters of what's becoming like the the popular sound of the moment that's got to be exciting 
Sure, I've never heard that, but I, I'll ta- we'll take it. Yeah. yeah, we love that. Yeah. Uh, like, who do you consider your peers? Do you consider bands like Passion Pit and stuff? MGMT, we love them. Passion Pit too, we toured with them. They are really cool guys. Yeah, yeah. But Dirty yeah. Projectors. You have uh, lots of good bands uh, right now. Yeah. It's better than the rap metal years. <laughs> right. uh, it's better than Crazy Town. I'll t- I'll t- <laughs> cre- yeah, yeah. I, I discovered that recently. I'm glad I wasn't there around. Yeah. You glad you missed the Crazy Town yeah. disturbed years of American uh, <laughs> rock music? Uh, Phoenix, thank you very much. You're uh, you're here at Coachella. You're playing tonight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tonight. Uh, that's great. Uh, so hopefully everybody will go. Everybody here will go down and see you, and hopefully we'll see you in Boston soon. Yes, for Thanks, sure. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, would you mind?